think I'm a slayer. All right, learn something new every day. <laughs> Okay, so we are live. Start talking while I get the get ready to do comments. Monitor do we have comments. any viewers yet? Um, I'm sure we do. If not, I'm sure we will. <clears throat> I can't believe go. it's going to be so cold for the next week. All right. So yeah, we got 15 viewers. Everybody's saying hello. Um. So what we're doing this week? All right. Well, first of all. Turn the volume down. Monitor Do we have comments. any viewers yet? That's what you sound like, Alex. That's awful. <laughs> Sounds like I smoked cigarettes for 60 years. Okay, so um, let's get underway here since we have a lot of ground to cover. So um, here we are again with another busy weekly video meeting with lots of breaking news that is happening as we speak. And we will bring you up to speed and give you as many details as we possibly can. So anyway, so as always, we're going to start off with our um, bad joke of the week and our fun fact. Um, well, what about the top part? About the snow and the canceled oh, matches? Okay, so go ahead. You take over. I didn't write that. You wrote the meeting. So how are the, how are the canceled matches coming along? Well, you know, to tell you the truth, there, there were probably a lot more canceled matches than I know about. All right. And they're just going to reschedule? I have no idea. I never even heard they were canceled. All right. Um, so, did you know that Grandpa is now addicted to Viagra? No, I did not know that. Yeah, poor Grandma's taking it really hard. <laughs> <laughs> also, did you know in 1586, the castle of St. Mary, Saint Queen of Mary... There's no saint. She wasn't a saint. All right. The castle of Mary. Queen of Scots. Queen of Scots was invaded and captured. The invaders made note of her, forbidding her from the use of her billiard table. They then proceeded to kill her and used the covering of the table to cover her body. So that's Mary, our, Queen of Scots, was a pool player. That's our fun fact. That's very cool fun fact, Walter. And But in 1586, that's a long time ago. I guess people have been playing with pool sticks, for a long time. Sticks, sticks. Sticks, sticks and balls <laughs> for a long time. Um, and at this point, we would like to do our shout-out for Perry Indoor Golf. Thank you very much for hosting the tournament this weekend. And um, we had our nine ball straight to Vegas, which was won by Eugene Melichick and Dennis Beck. They so, played um, Victoria Spittler and Lisa Schneider in the final. It was pretty exciting. So Jake Rodriguez starts off with, do I need to be playing on a nine ball team this session to play in the singles regionals on the 28th? It depends. That's a case by case basis and you're going to need to call us. Some people, if there is no play in their area for other various reasons, they are, they can't be on a team, but we do need to talk to you about that if you are not on a team. Um, so our upcoming event is, oh, we have, those were past events, actually. Our upcoming event is Tri-Cup. We have another Tri-Cup this weekend. When did you reschedule juniors? Are you reading in my notes? Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> Junior Regional is postponed to the 28th. Is that a Sunday? Yes. You're going to have to reach out to all the juniors. They're going to be in at the same time as the nine ball regional, but there's not, it's not real busy on that day. So we will be able to fit them in. There's also three matches there at Perry too that day. Oh. Five o'clock. We should be pretty much done by then. John Stupak said it was great seeing everybody. Yes, it was great seeing everybody. Um, I think if I had a team out of Perry, I would probably call it the Sardines. Um, so our etiquette for the week is, oh, by the way, um, yeah, all right. So our etiquette for the week is be respectful to people in playing areas. 
There was a lot of people who were walking through the playing areas on Saturday. It was tight. There was definitely no personal space. John Stupik, I didn't even know your son was there. That's how good he was. Are you sure that's not Richard Stupak making that comment? <laughs> um, so that is our etiquette. Please be respectful to people within playing areas. Um, what's the score sheet message? Uh, keep your own score. Right, there it is. And what does that mean? It means that, like, if you know how you call out what you have at the end. So if I have, you know, 20 defenses and you have 10 defenses, that doesn't mean you change it to 10 or to 20. You just keep your own. Like if I have, you know, 18 in innings and you have 20 innings, just keep it that way. Don't make them even. There is reasons for that. Which um, will be talked about in um, a later segment of our meeting. We will? Yep. We absolutely will be. Um, Just a reminder. The rule reminder, the World Pool Qualifier. Oh, yeah. If you are qualified for regionals or the World Pool Qualifier, we like to call it now, you must remain in the top 50% or else you will be heavily scrutinized by our handicap. So here's committee. something, you know, that I'm sure we mentioned it before. Like if you're going to try cup and you win, like you're not going to be able to make any roster changes. You, you can't really make them now. I don't know. Well, we're, this is just, we're just finishing week four. Like you're just stuck with that roster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so um, Kevin it says, what does APA stand for? And if I spell it backwards, does that change the meaning? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I Hi, don't know. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Nice to see you. Um, so, Victoria, I think I'm jumping around from where you guys are at, but do we need to keep nine ball score on the app or can we do it on paper? Uh, the home team should be keeping score on a piece of paper because, again, we're in a test mode, so it glitches up from time to time, and God forbid something happens, I need to be able to input the match. And that's the same with eight ball as well. One, the home team should always be keeping a paper score sheet. I'm still thinking about Kevin's joke. <laughs> what, what, what happens if you spell it backwards? Um, all right, so we're... Let's see, we start... Yeah, you guys had a bye so for your week one. So we're going to play a little segment right now real quick on um, on a little bit about the scorekeeper. You had to take over scoring a match. The takeover match function of the scorekeeping app would be used to allow one team member to take over scorekeeping from another team member. This might occur when a player has to play their own match or leave for the evening. To change the scorekeeper, the teammate who wants to take over responsibility for scoring opens the app, selects the appropriate team match, then selects the active match currently being scored by tapping the blue box. A box will drop down giving the incoming scorekeeper the option to take over the match or cancel. Select the blue takeover box to request to take control of the scorekeeping. The existing scorekeeper will then see a drop down box asking them if they will release or deny scorekeeping control. The existing scorekeeper simply selects the blue release button, which turns the scorekeeping over to the new scorekeeper. If the existing scorekeeper denies the request, they will retain control of scorekeeping. If the active scorekeeper does not respond to the request, the request will be granted after approximately 15 seconds. Additionally, when another player logs in, they can select a new match to score for split table situations. This allows two players to keep score simultaneously. We hope this helps you better navigate the APA scorekeeping app. And there is, and there is our fun fact scorekeeping app video. There's a lot of videos on YouTube, right? And where is that? That is on, um, up on YouTube. Yeah, you're right. On YouTube. So Just do a APA scorekeeping app. Do you have to put YouTube in the search box? Um, no, because you have to go to the YouTube page. Huh? You either open YouTube on your phone or you go to you open a tab on your browser. Okay. Come on, Abby. Um, 
so that's that. I hope that in case somebody didn't know that, they can, there's one more thing for people to learn. Oh, let me have that orange folder right there. Does anybody know? And the winner is... Does anybody know Ruben Sanchez? I got $25 member, membership fee and an application. I just don't know where to put them. So if anyone knows, please let me know. So Tamara is asking if anybody else has found the nine ball scoring app to be very slow. They've had multiple cell carriers and wireless and it's very slow. Were you aware of that? No. If you guys run into issues like that, please reach out to us so that way we can pass them along to the to the APA. Is it is it slow because their internet in the place isn't good? Um, I don't know. I don't know. She said they've tried several carriers and stuff, so I don't know. So she's got to reach out to us. Um, Todd Kopix it says, timeouts during scorekeeping takeovers. Are we going to be ranked for scorekeeping skills? What? What did he say? He said, uh, Todd Kopix is asking if people are going to be ranked for scorekeeping skills. <laughs> it's a fair question. Todd says, yes, it is slow at times also. Um... So that is our little scorekeeping video. I'll pass video. that information on to uh, the technology department. And while we're on the subject of scorekeeping, we are going to play another video. Once I get it set up here. Um, Perry is solid and is shooting at the two ball. In this particular example, I'm going to shoot this two different ways. Now remember, defensive shots are perfectly ethical. We encourage all APA members to learn how to play safe. It's part of the game. So I'm going to shoot this two different ways. The first one is an obvious safety or defensive shot. I would actually, it would be proper for me to actually turn to my opponent and say, please mark a defensive shot because that's what it, that's what it was. Now, putting the ball back approximately where it was, if I shot it this way, trying to bring the cue ball back behind the eight, and then claiming that I was trying to make the two. Well, if I were to have succeeded and put the cue right behind the eight, again, this is a judgment call. I can sit there and tell you all I want. I was trying to make the two, but you have the right to make the judgment that I was playing safe back behind this ball. And that's why sometimes the score sheets don't agree and there's a judgment. But in this particular case, if I drew it, put, stuck it back behind the eight ball, trying to block your balls, then that should be marked as a defensive shot. Terry is solid and is shooting at the two ball. Uh, the old two-way shot, Alex. Yeah. So, did you hear what Terry said in there? What? Mr. Bell that invented the APA, he was commenting on how the score sheet needs to be, um, how the score sheets may disagree, as you were referring to earlier. That you just talked about keeping your own score. So, what a coincidence that that was chosen for your thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it's such a coincidence. A kawinky dink. If we keep score. if we keep score on the app and play through it, do we still have to send a paper copy? Uh, Kevin, just hold on to the paper copy until I know that I'm able to print it. Because sometimes I get matches in and not all five of them are there. And then you'll reach out to them? I'll reach out to them. Okay. Um, and new members should sign up online. If not, you must fill out an APA membership with your team name, right? <laughs> <Would help. laughs> left side at the bottom click forms and instruction this is the forms are available on the blue mountain apa facebook page um another thing too um since i've been taking max's job over by the way max is back so you can you don't have to worry about me anymore does that mean the job will be done right now <laughs> probably but you know when you're sending in a score sheet they'll send in the scoring part of the nine ball sheet and it'll have Team 04. That's it. 
So now you got to look at the players and you got to like look it up and you know what I mean? Like just write your whole number on it. How many eight ball teams do we have? 60? 80? I don't know. 70? That's Nine ball, I mean. Did the packets get sent out for singles regionals? Art Gossard is asking. Yes, they have. So if you have not got yours. I talked to Dave Gurman today and sent him in the information that I got from Facebook because I posted everything on Facebook. But he doesn't do Facebook. Okay. So check your email, check your spam. And if you don't have an email address because you didn't fill out all your information, oh well. And what do they need to do when using PayPal? What do you mean? Oh, please let me know the team name, number, and week. Or do you just, or do you just keep the money I just in? pocket it. Okay. Of course I don't pocket it. So um, today we have um, birthdays. We have Blaine Lee, Billy Moyer, and Jacqueline Niger. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, guys. I still haven't heard anything I've about heard it. nothing on Tom Weller either. Does anybody know anything about Tom Weller? Yeah, someone please let us know. If he's in the hospital, we'll, we will go visit him. We just need, we don't know if he's there or not. We don't, we know nothing. Um, the singles boards that happened this weekend are, yes, they are for October, Jason. So Alex and I, when we set up our meeting, I said to Alex, I said, who's the featured player? And Alex is like, I don't know. And so I don't know either. So if you guys think of anybody that you think does anything outstanding so that way we can make them the featured player of the week, please email us. We need some ideas. And um, is there any more questions? Um... So, tri cups this weekend. Yep. Masking up. Most likely. Most likely. Bring a mask. Bring it. Yeah, bring a mask. We will be reaching out to the captains. Do we get an email where to be and be there at nine? At oh, I did get an email. Yes. What? You're not playing in the singles regional. Art Gossard says I did get an oh. email telling where to be and be there at nine. Well, there's a link on the Facebook page. It shows everybody that I have that's going, and the link drives you to uh, whether it's eight ball or nine ball. You put one seven nine in, and then it brings up everything you need: the certification form, the rules and regulations, uh, the times of the different um, skill levels, and the place. I thought it was really cool. Just sort of a new category here. So guess what's under new and exciting? What? Um, the meeting is being recorded and it's going to be put up on a Blue Mountain APA uh, YouTube. YouTube channel. So that way, for people who don't go on Facebook, can now go and check on a YouTube channel once in a while and then they can watch the meeting if they so, if they so choose. Derek is not looking forward to going for the black tier. Well, we don't have enough. <laughs> There's three of tier. you. It's you, Alex Ware, and... Uh, Johnny Reiner. Maybe you guys can carpool. Melvin needs to come off of total dysfunction. Let me have my notebook. Okay. Anybody else got any questions before we head out? Comments? Concerns? Suggestions? Um, and if not, we... It's a wrap. That's going to be a wrap, and we are going to, um, we'll be back next week, and whoever's coming to Tri-Cup, we will see you there. And bring a mask. So everyone have a great day. Bring a mask. And bring a mask. All right, take care. Oh, Randy Dribblebiss is asking the question that everybody else asks, Alex. The buy points get credited at week six, so we'll work on them this week. Okay. Yep. Bring a yeah. mask. Oh, many people have asked that question. You probably covered this already, but when is eight ball regionals and when would the team Vegas championships be in Vegas? Um, let me see, see. Read the rest. Some players are asking about <coughs> vacation just in case. Uh, they're up on, if you go to the American Pool Players site, they're up. Uh, you can find them through your app too, I believe. And um, on the Blue Mountain APA 
When he says regionals, does that mean the regionals coming up at the end of the month? I'm assuming that he means eight ball regionals, like team regionals, not singles regionals. Um, team regionals are they're on the they're on the um, um, Blue Mountain APA um, web page, and I'll look real quick. I need to look. Uh, just give me a minute. I need to. So the Blue Mountain, the, the World Pool Qualifier for Nine Ball is April 4th and April 10th. And the World Pool Qualifier for Eight Ball is March 20th, the weekend of the 27th. And then one will be on April 3rd. And we will be putting out a questionnaire again for everybody to. But we can't do days. that until we finish Tri Cups. Yes. How come I can't see my list of players? I don't know. Grace is watching with us. Hi, Grace. Hi, Grace. Uh, we miss you too, Kaylee. So, all right. So anyway, we are going to leave on that question, and we're going to bid adieu, and have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye. Can we enforce people to wear a mask in somebody else's establishment? I don't know. Well, when I said that before, you both were like, yes, you can. I don't know. Well, why did you say yes then? I, I, I doubt I said yes. You did. Um, let's see. I think though, if it's our event, we can. I don't see why not. We did drop the ball with that on Saturday. I didn't even think of it, did you? What? In the meeting, the fire meeting. Yeah, I didn't either. Is it going to do? All right, so.